Hello everyone! No, no, you have to say so like, Hello everyone! Like Brazilian, not like America. Hello everyone! <laughs> Drink a sip. Drink a sip. Okay, let's <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Hello, Hello everyone! everyone. Oh, it's better. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Gente, nesse vídeo eu vou mostrar pra vocês o chan cozinhando uma comida americana. So it's, it's American food? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. I'm okay. trying to think. Like, it has a little bit of like Italian because it uses a lot of Italian herbs. Mm -hmm. But this is for the most part so, relatively American. Gente, vocês podem perceber que ele é inteligente, né? He's smart. <laughs> so, Gente, eu queria falar pra vocês que esse vídeo vai ser totalmente em inglês, então pra que você entenda o que nós estamos falando aqui, eu vou colocar a legenda em todo o vídeo, então é só você ativar a tradução. Deixa de conversa e vamos cozinhar. Let's go? Let's go. Let's go. So, what are you gonna cook? Okay, so today we're going to be cooking honey garlic oven roasted one pan chicken. So the chicken I usually get from a store and it's usually in a package but mm -hmm. this time we got the chicken from a butcher mm -hmm. and here in America the quality of your meat makes a difference in terms of how the dish is going to taste in the end and mm -hmm. we wanted to make this as best as possible because right. these are very special people Yay! so we went to the butcher. Now, because we went to the butcher, the meat is already cut and trimmed the way that I so, prefer it to be mm -hmm. anyway. So mm -hmm. if I got this out of a pack of meat, you have to cut. I would be cutting it. Potato, guys, look at this. It's different. We have in Brazil. Like we packaging do? like that? No, no like this. Mm -hmm. I think here it's almost everything is in pocket. Why? Do you know why? Because Americans like even our food to be wrapped up in useless packaging that mm -hmm. looks attractive, although it doesn't do anything for the food. Oh. So just because okay. this bag, like when you go grocery shopping, it looks very like clean yes. and it's very easy. You can just grab one. You don't have to worry about grabbing a grocery bag. You don't have to worry about picking them out yourself. It's easy. Potatoes, they're mixed, they're small. They're, uh, they have pictures of mm. our marketing on it so Makes that sense. it looks attractive so uh -huh. people just naturally want to buy this even though these are like maybe twice as expensive just yes. because of the wrap. Yes, yes, yes. But we bought it as well because it was convenient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Interesting. it worked on us too. <laughs> this is asparagus. Yes, asparagus How? spears. Asparagus. How do you say? Asparagus. <laughs> Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> so it just sounds weird with the way you make me say it like, over and over. It sounds so weird. Asparagus. Asper asparagus. It sounds like a disease, huh? Because yeah. this is. It's, uh, how do, 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 do you make this? How do you make this? So we are going to open those up and we're going to wrap a couple bundles in mm -hmm. bacon. And we're going to bake it okay. in the oven. Oh. We wrap in bacon. Oh. And then cover with garlic uh, butter, and then we. Are you gonna cover it with bacon? Mm -hmm. Bacon? <gasps> really? Yeah. Ah, oh. this is how it's supposed to do. <laughs> Vegetables are supposed to. Guys, be it's a salad man. He's just eats salad every day. It's okay. So next, we bacon. need to open bacon. up the bacon. bacon. The good stuff. You know, we in Brazil, it's so weird when people say you eat bacon in breakfast. Why? Because it's meat on breakfast. You know, it's crazy. They they eat meat in in the breakfast, and they don't eat meat on lunch or dinner. <laughs> That's just Sean. Yeah, no, I know. He, not my Actually, we're gonna cut up the potatoes. Okay. So if you want to help me, with okay, this. I will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To cut everything. Yeah, we'll okay. just we'll just do everything. Well, if you are not subscribed yet on my YouTube channel, what they need to do, Shan? 
go to youtube.com and go subscribe to Deborah Rada Eek's YouTube channel, which is now a cooking channel. What? <laughs> See? <laughs> so if you like this video, just comment below if you want a more video like this so I can do it and I can learn more. Let's see this is. And Alan can eat. <laughs> <laughs> the best part. Yeah, I know, <laughs> So, I want you to, oh actually, we'll have to move this a little bit. Okay. So, we can turn this back on. Okay. And bring this back to a boil. Mm -hmm. We're just going to boil these for maybe four, five minutes. Mm -hmm. We just want them to get a little soft before okay. we put them into the pan. And we're going to pan sear them to completion okay. or until they're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, before we put them in uh, to the actual pan, we're going to season them. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll, I'll show you how to do okay. that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Why do, do you use uh, compost trash? Um, so, in San Francisco, they make us separate our trash uh -huh. based on organic foods versus recycle versus trash. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, <laughs> I think a lot of people don't care. Uh -huh. And so I, I don't know how much it actually works, but uh -huh. I try to follow the rules because I'm a good guy. Oh, you are? Yeah. He was explaining how he wanted to do Okay, he so. We want to make sure everything comes out around the same time. So we do our prep first, which is step one. Step two is the cooking, which has a strategy, uh, although it may not it seem so like it. He do not, he, no, you're not like this. <laughs> He's so... Okay, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay, just more wine. I was almost finished. <laughs> okay, sorry. So step one, we get everything prepared. Step two, we're gonna make sure that we put everything at different times so that they come out around the same time because we don't want one thing to get cold or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then the last step, we eat. <laughs> Good. For the chicken, mm -hmm. we need to actually let this get hot so we can actually probably talk a little bit more because it turned it off. <laughs> but we'll just pour some more wine. Okay. Usually these have corks in them. This is one of the few bottles of wine that I've gotten that doesn't have a cork. Mm -hmm. What do you mean cork? Like, um, like cork from a tree. <laughs> I don't know. No? <laughs> um, like, uh, the thing that goes inside of here, ah, wine bottles. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. This didn't have one. Uh -huh. It just screws off. So uh -huh. I was like, well, I don't know about this. Ah, so, but do you like it? It's pretty good. Ah, uh, okay. That's the important part. This is this is the thing I want to learn because I know some wine um, is good when you eat. Like you said, uh, oh. Street, oh, this wine is good to to eat with, to drink with. Yeah. So drier. How, how we can know? We just need to research about it, or we can like try and taste. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, so so it's actually the combination of the two that you just said. So for me, it just came from drinking with a lot of other people, actually, mm -hmm. is that I found. Believe it or not, I actually come from, there was a point when I knew nothing about wine. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my friends liked to drink wine, and I was usually the only person who was just like, mm, I'll just get a beer, because mm -hmm. uh, that was what I knew. Mm -hmm. um, but then, like, after drinking enough wines, and, like, I found my own wine, and uh, then that's when I started to realize mm -hmm. that, like, certain wines I kind of didn't like because I wasn't eating them necessarily with the right thing. Uh -huh. So like, for instance, white wines go well with like more poultry meat or white meat. So, mm. so white wines usually go good with fish or chicken. Uh -huh. Steak, I found out, go good with dark, drier wines like Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. um, and then sweeter wines go good with either chicken or with beef. Mm -hmm. um, or um, a lot of seafood options. So mm -hmm. I that just honestly came out of mm -hmm. just from drinking wine. Mm -hmm. I didn't learn from anybody mm -hmm. or on mm -hmm. you know, the internet. I think like we that. need to taste and see because maybe it's like I, I like white wine. Mm -hmm. I like red but I, I prefer white. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to taste and then when you, you like. when you go to a restaurant, do you usually get 
get white wine? Yes. I see. I see. Is it because you like sweeter? Yes. I do. Alan, do you like red or white wine? <laughs> he doesn't like. He like... doesn't drink. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> what? Which one? What? Which one? Red. Red? You like red, honey? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like. I didn't know that. This is this is new. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Why? <laughs> Why? It's new. Okay. Oh, this is this the the interesting thing. You you use a lot butter. Yes. A lot. Do you know why? Or just why do you use a lot of butter? Yes. Um, it's to make sure that nothing burns. Mm -hmm. But also, um, butter just I come to find makes stuff taste. Because mm. uh -huh. in Brazil, well, I don't know in Brazil, but for me, I use to use um, oil. Oil. Oh, you're gonna use, put everything in the same thing. Oh, I'm hungry. It's already. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him like a ten minutes before. It's, it's already. It's not getting there. Okay, Deborah. Mm. So I have this cup. It's a. It's honey. Why? Why it's you. Go, like, it's you, use, honey. To use sugar with salt. Why? Oh, you'll see. Okay. Oh, okay, you, I oh, will. Oh, you will see. Do you uh, everything? Like Almost it? like 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 here. Okay. You Let put me. it down. Put it down and you squeeze the bottle. Might take a little. Ah, uh, okay. This is a, this will be take a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. So we are not cooking this chicken to completion. We are just what's called browning the chicken. Mm -hmm. So we literally are just crisping the top, mm -hmm. crisping the bottom a little bit, and then we're going to be taking it out. Uh, but how, are you going to put it in the oven? Not yet. No, you ask. So I'm going to take it out, make the sauce and the rendered fat. Uh -huh. um, part of it being that honey, part of it being the brown sugar and mm -hmm. the garlic. And then we're gonna put the chicken back in and finish putting it in the oven. Ah, okay. Oh, now you're gonna take it off, okay. This is nice. This is a pretty simple recipe, but uh -huh. also really, really tasty, which uh -huh. probably makes it pretty easy. Uh -huh. So, we have to, con cooking with sugar can actually be a little difficult, uh -huh. uh, especially when it's in a savory dish like this. Uh -huh. So you have to make sure that you have a nice ratio between fat and sugar. So uh -huh. fat actually prevents the sugar from burning. Okay, so you just take it off the... So I just took off the majority of okay. the fat or the butt, so chicken and the butter that mm -hmm. was in there. Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna use this? Yes. Okay. Okay, so first thing that we want to do, we want to use this um, fat in here to start uh -huh. cooking our garlic down. Okay. And we're going to use the rest. Oh. Okay, so just cooking down the garlic, uh -huh. we lowered the temperature uh -huh. just a little bit. Okay. And so we do this just to release all of the aroma uh -huh. out of the garlic. So mm -hmm. a lot of people um, tend to, when they use garlic, they don't necessarily reduce or cook it down. Mm -hmm. And you have to really kind of cook garlic down to fully release its um, flavor into whatever mm -hmm. dish that you're cooking. So mm -hmm. we're just cooking down the garlic and the fat for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Come here, honey. Wow. And then, oh, this is sugar? sugar. But it's from sugar cane. That's a uh, brown sugar. Uh -huh. Golden sugar. Golden sugar. Okay. All right. And then this is our sauce. And then you just want to mix that together. Uh huh. For how long? Um, it's pretty much mixed and done right now. Uh huh. We just want to make sure everything is mixed together. Get the fat, all the sugar, the brown sugar, the aroma from all of the herb that we put in here, the thyme, the oregano, it's all infused and mixed together in one, uh -huh. one sauce. And then... Okay. And for how long do you 
We're gonna put this back in there for maybe 20, 20, 20 to 25 minutes. Ah, uh, okay. Because these are pretty big pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. And as I told you before, we didn't really cook the chicken uh -huh, when uh -huh. we put it in originally. Uh -huh. So we have to make sure that we finish cooking it through. Okay. And we cook that. How at, do I know it's cooked already? Um, technically, you're supposed to use the thermostat. And uh, the okay. size should be. Do you have it? I do not have okay. thermostat. But you here. know. But I've done this enough times uh -huh, to, so you know. Okay. to know when uh -huh. the chicken is, is done. But you uh -huh. can also tell um, on the inside whether uh -huh. or not it's done or not. Uh -huh. So we just let that start to bask mm -hmm. in this sauce for a do little bit. Do you need bit. to recover? Nope. No, just let it. Okay. Just let it do this. Okay. As a matter of fact, when this the sugar starts to heat up, um, it actually raises. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure, kind of check to make sure that the this is not going to uh, spill out afterwards. Uh -huh. So kind of turn this up to kind of check and make sure that you're not going to have that uh -huh. happen. Uh -huh. And then the last step for this, so you can already see that the chicken is starting to take in the color yes, of the yes. sauce. Yes. Uh huh. It's so simple. It is pretty simple. Yes, yeah. And by the way, uh, we need uh, a special pan. Like I know this is not a regular. This so, is cast iron. Uh huh. So we need this or not? Could um, be? for this particular recipe, it's, yes. So uh, for instance, okay. that pan uh -huh. you can't put in the oven. Ah, because, because now after you're gonna put this whole just, pan in the oh, oven. Oh, I see. The whole thing exactly. And wow. that's the cool thing about a cast iron pan is, is that uh -huh. you can cook stuff on the stove top and uh -huh. you can use that exact same pan to uh -huh. put it directly in the oh, okay. So when we cook steaks, mm -hmm. we also use this pan because uh -huh. we fin cook it on the top and we finish cooking it in the yeah. oven. Oh, put it directly in. oh, I see. Honey, we need this pan. <laughs> so this part makes people really hungry. Yeah. Well, I was hungry already, so now <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> so this allows for us to just add some of that garlic back on top, uh -huh. make sure everything is nice and moist before uh -huh. you put it in, because yeah. if you have the top that is not uh -huh. moist, it's uh -huh. not going to crust, and you'll see. But basically, this is like a sweet and savory, but uh -huh. the top of the chicken turns into this like salty, Oh. sugary kind of crispy skin layer mm -hmm. um, and it's delicious when oh. it comes out so that's the exciting part about this uh -huh. dish. So this is all done. Okay so We're, now you're gonna put okay in the oven. Wow. Oh this is the part. In the end this video I will say this word correctly okay. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so now we have both of those in. They're gonna both take around the same amount of time. We'll check on the asparagus just a little bit more because uh -huh. we wanna make sure that the bacon doesn't cook faster than the asparagus. Uh -huh. The last thing that we need to do are the potatoes. Uh -huh. And so we're You're gonna, gonna, do now we're or gonna or? start those now. Uh, okay. So um, the potatoes we boiled beforehand and we boiled them because potatoes, as you know, they're very starchy, take mm -hmm. a little while to break down a lot mm -hmm. of the carbohydrates. So by boiling them, it helps us um, speed up the cooking process. Mm -hmm. Today we're doing pan seared potatoes, meaning that we're gonna be essentially cooking these primarily on the stove top. And that's so that we can get a nice crust on the mm -hmm. potatoes and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of that savory feel that goes really good with this recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one of the things that I learned about pan searing potatoes is, is that you have to make sure you have enough moisture so that things are not so like um, enough oil so ah, that okay. nothing is burning uh -huh. and you want to cook um, this on relatively medium temperature. If you cook the potatoes too fast, uh -huh. um, the outside will burn faster than the inside of the potato so they will cook honey. Uh -huh. So we're going to slowly kind of pan sear these. Uh -huh. um, Are you going to use butter, butter or oil? I'm going to use oil. Okay. And I'm going to use um, oil specifically because just the oil compound cooks better with the potatoes. And uh -huh. the olive oil also um, adds to the flavor of the potatoes as well. I really don't, like a lot of the stuff that I do, just honestly I do primarily because of my mom. Um, I don't even know why I do a lot of certain uh, things. Like when I cook eggs, I use butter. Oh, 
um, a lot of people use oil. Uh -huh. Yeah, they use oil when they make cookies. So that's because of my mom. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, yeah. So like, I legitimately there's like things from my mom that like uh -huh. I just do. Oh, nice. <laughs> <It's> special. <laughs>
série, gente, se vocês não assistirem o vídeo dessa semana, olha, assim, eu não quero fazer vontade pra vocês, eu não quero fazer vocês ficarem não vendo os dedos, mas eu vou fazer. Mas assim, eu quero que vocês gostem do vídeo porque, cara, tá dando trabalho, mas tá muito legal. Né, Xan? Yes? Say yes! <risos> And this is homemade, for the most part, American meal. Wow, I love it. So now we have to taste. Can I eat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? This time, like, I'm two hours? <laughs>